people confirmed dead in the floods. Now that number is likely to rise dramatically. We also know another 72 people are this morning missing. 40 people were rescued overnight by helicopter and there is now major concerns the floods could hit Brisbane later today. We also know the Defence Force is now being called in to help with the search and rescue operation. Let's head first to Toowoomba where it all began yesterday afternoon when that torrent of water came out of basically nowhere. Now this is a city about 120 kilometres west of Brisbane and from there on the phone joining me now is wind reporter James O'Shea. James, you live, you work in Toowoomba. Residents really had no warning at all of this sudden deluge. Yeah, no, good, good morning, Wendy. That, that's exactly the case. It was amazing scenes in, in Toowoomba yesterday. The water just came, and it came very, very quickly. It rose very, very quickly. And a lot of people and cars were, were simply caught in the middle. There was very little they could do, and, and, and obviously a lot of them had to wait for uh, to be rescued. Others were helped by some, uh, some, some wonderful people in the city who uh, helped out there. Their fellow men, I guess you could say, they saw people in distress and, uh, and uh, went through like, difficult waters themselves to rescue people out of cars in a number of sections. It's the rain just absolutely bucketed down like never, we've never seen in Toowoomba in a, a very, very long time. You were actually in the city centre when this happened, James. Uh, you, you also saw some, some pretty dramatic scenes, some rescues. Uh, take us through what you saw. Well, uh, to give you an indication of just how quickly things changed, we drove along one of the uh, sections of Toowoomba, Ruffin Street and North. We drove through that section. We had to turn around to go back because there was a landslide at Mount Kynos, so we had to go back that section. It would have been less than 10 minutes, and, and then all of a sudden that, that section of North and Ruffin went from being just a, a small, steady stream of water running down the street to, to basically a raging torrent, and people just had no escape. Or people were stuck in cars, as I mentioned before. We saw all sorts of debris floating, well, floating not the right word, just gushing down in the water. Uh, I saw a trailer fly past me down uh, down North Street into that rusted intersection and hit a car. There was literally bins everywhere, down pipes, even a uh, fridge was seen floating down at the stream. But everything came and it, and it just had nowhere to go. See, the water was just uh, banking up everywhere and uh, it, it looked more like the ocean than, than anything you've seen. I mean, obviously, that's a pretty rare thing to see in Toowoomba. Yeah, absolutely, because uh, just for people who don't know, the majority of the city of Toowoomba is quite flat. So particularly those main streets that we're seeing pictures on our screen of, of the whole of those main streets just covered in, you know, almost up to a metre of water in the shots that we're seeing on our screen at the moment. Uh, tell us now, James, uh, what can you see now that the water's subsided? Well, today is uh, we, we wait to a, to a new day. The, there's still rain falling on, on our side at the moment. The rain is, is quite, uh, well, it's not heavy at the moment, but I mean, it's persistent rain. But everywhere you drive around this city, there is just a breeze strewn everywhere. There is, uh, you know, there's, there's big fences that are, you know, five to ten metres high that have been knocked over. There's